Naibu Rais aliyebanduliwa mamlakani Rigathi Gashagwa amedai kuwa maisha yake ya muhatarini akidai kuwa aliponia majaribio mawili ya kuuawa katika kipindi cha mwaka mmoja uliopita. Gashagwa ambaye alikuwa anazungumza nje ya hospitali ya Karen alikokuwa amelazwa tangu Alhamisi wiki jana amedokeza kuwa walinzi wake wameondolewa akimnyoshia kidole cha lawama Rais William Ruto kwa masaibu anayopitia. Wanahabari Jeff Kirui na taarifa hiyo. And if anything happens to me or my family President William Ruto must be held to account. Kwa mara ya kwanza Geoffrey Rigathi Gachagua amezungumza akipasua mbarika kwamba kubandiliwa kwake kulikuwa msumari wa mwisho baada ya majaribio mawili ya kumwangamiza kugonga mwamba. On 30th of August in Kisumu. Undercover security agents entered my room in Kisumu and bagged it. And one of them tried to poison my food. On 3rd of September in Nyeri, another team from the National Intelligence Service came to Nyeri and tried to poison food that was meant for me and Kikuyu Council of Elders. Yote hayo gashagwa na mtuhumu Rais William Ruto akidai kuwa mahasidi wake wamemwandaa mahadi kitandani alikolazwa tangu alhamisi wiki jana Officers from the National Intelligence Service have been hovering in every room in every compound here to an extent that I had to call my wife and my children to come and stay in my room Kwa mujibu wa gashagwa walinzi wake wameondolewa akidokeza kuwa anahofia maisha yake na ya familia yake Please Mr President I beg you Don't kill us. Don't kill my children. Kiini na chanzo cha masaibu yake Gashagwa anadai ni msimamo wake thabiti wa kumkabili Rais William Ruto ana kwa ana kuhusu mipango na sera za serikali ambazo hakukubaliana nazo. I'm the only man in the cabinet and in the whole government who can stand up to the William Ruto and tell him, "Hey brother, this is not right." Kwa sasa anapopigana vita pamoja na kesi yake mahakamani, ilmradi kubatilisha kubanuliwa kwake. Gashagwa anajutia usuhuba wake na Rais William Ruto akidai kusalitiwa. Jeff Kirui KTN News. Bila shaka tutafuatilia matukio yote kadri yanavyozidi kuchepuka kuhusiana na usuhuba huu